Okay, so um, side control again, guys. We looked about how to free this up, which is a good thing. So even if I don't hit that choke and get that Brabo counter, it's still free and in the transition of something else, I can latch on it and use it as a weapon. So again, card's got his hands in boxing hand position. I get my grip under the arm pad, I put heavy face pressure. I walk towards north side. Okay, it's hard for me to turn him on the side with his leg. So I'm gonna come underneath his arm. I use my shoulder to roll him up like this. And then I fall into the space and get my chest behind his shoulder. I lock my horn in his position. Okay. And then he chairs his stand up behind. Lock my position. So I'm on his back, okay? So we're here and here. And again, all these guys know lots of different things. I can be going for opening up the lapel and going for all these different types of chokes and stuff. We are naked. My bow and arrow. And all this, okay? So, this time guys, cars focused on trying this. This is my choking arm. This is my underhook arm. So from here, Okay, I'll be busy distracting Carl, okay? With this hand, as my underhook hand is gonna come grab the bottom corner of this key here, okay? Which I freed up earlier. As in Blue Peter, I did it before. Something I prepared beforehand. So from here, I wanna bring it all the way up, okay? Here, okay? Stick it up between the positions. Okay. Then from here, my underhook hand comes under, and I'm gonna latch on to this lapel so I can control his rotation. Okay? And then I use this hand to bring it across. Okay, and then I'm gonna pass it to my underhook hand. And again, Carl's not really bothered about this. If I can do this here in the process of the fight without him even knowing it, because all he's worried about is stopping this choking hand and what I'm going to latch onto from here. Okay? This is kind of like a reverse brago, guys. So when I get to here, I'm going to attack the arm bar. Okay? So I put my foot on his hip. Okay? I hip escape from here. I'm going to immediately fall into my arm bar attack position. I still keep my grip on his jugular here. Okay. So two things can happen. Okay. Cars aware that I possibly can choke him, maybe seen this move before, and he latches onto my arm. If he does, I have the arm back. Okay. Or he ignores the threat of the choke and he goes for his uh, Mata Leon defense. Okay. So cars gripped his bicep, his hands underneath. What he wants to do is push my foot off here. Okay. I'm gonna let him do it. When he pushes this off, all I'm gonna do is I keep this grip. I'm swinging my leg over okay. his arm, and all I want to do is the same as I do in my Bravo. I'm gonna press my leg to drive his shoulder okay. in the back of his neck. So if you can see what I'm doing here, I've cut off one jugular with this grip, okay. and I'm gonna use my my um, leg press drive car and shoulder into his other jugular, like this. Again, it depends on your flexibility. Okay, sometimes um, you might have bother getting your leg over, so I would suggest hip escaping onto your left side, which creates a little bit more space. So when I swing this leg over, look from here, it doesn't matter. This leg press. Try to escape car. It's gonna be very difficult. When I'm staying here, look, watch. When I get this across here, I'm going to keep my grip, and I can latch on again here. I just drive this in. Okay? So, let's look at it one more time. So, um, freeing up this is very, very smart, I think. So, I'm playing my game, free this up. Possibly, I can't get this move coming underneath. So I abandon it, and I'm going to look for it again when I get to the back. Walk to the north south. Turn the car onto the side. Cheers it. Come here. Distract him by going for this choke. As I get this between him and me. 
And this hand comes underneath and the latch onto the lapel, like so. And I'm going to use this hand to feed it up again and get my grips. Right. I'm going to distract him with the choke again. Okay? And when the moment's right, I put my foot on his hip and I immediately attack the arm off. And it just depends on what his reaction is. If he doesn't defend, if he defends the choke, I'm taking the arm bar. If he goes for his usual model, he on defense. Okay, all I'm gonna do is pass my, keep this grip, it stays the same. I pass my leg over, and then from here, I'm gonna just the leg press straight in. Okay, let's do this.